What up guys? Today is the day that we finally get to use mod in practice. Now I have played with her a little bit but this is the first video that we are gonna do with her and her gear is a little bit scuffed and work in progress and this is what I'm going with her right now but she literally needs to get Ascension on the bottom pieces as you can see. This is kind of scuffed. Do not have it. And we're even running that attack ring, uh, I mean amulet, and a 5 star ring because I just don't have insanely good stone skin accessories on her which is, you know, super RNG and obviously I have Chaos Sword, everything that I got on those and it shouldn't be that hard to get some better ones but we want to run 2 piece immortal with the 6 piece stone skin I'm almost considering just going with 6 piece stone skin and better accessories, but we will get a little bit tankiness and heal us from the Immortal 2 piece set, so I kind of want to run, with, run it with her, at least in the that's the end goal, but maybe I might change it temporarily. But as you can see, the, the build is right now not the most impressive one, we're neither insanely tanky or um, fast and I need to get her a little bit faster but let's let's run down what she does if you haven't used mod or don't have have her I have talked about her a couple of times saying that I'm super excited to get her and I'm planning to do it and I skipped a couple last fragment fusions to do this but on her passive she basically has like the doom priest passive or 200 rack passive that she removes one depa from all allies every time she takes a turn and then she gives continuous heal for the champion with the lowest ally and this might not seem like super big deal but I think it's a little bit more relevant right now in the meta than it was just a while ago and the reason is that we're seeing a lot of champions actually using debuffs stuff like Galatir and Marius and even whatever the demon spawn mythic champion with bombs and block pass debuffs, uh, not block pass debuffs, block active, active skill debuff, whatever that champion is called, the, the fat demon spawn, okay let me look it up. I tried to remember that champion's name multiple times but I always forget about it, Comitus, yeah. So with stuff like Comitus, Marius and Galatir, among others, being very popular champions with debuffs that are very impactful and can ruin your day. And especially something like Galatir, there's not really um, a lot of counterplay against it because you get locked out, so it's not like you can just cleanse your team and get rid of the debuff. But you can do that with more passive, so that's why I kind of want to use her but she also does do a revive with 50% turn meter and HP on all allies that also gives defense buff or it it gives you either defense or attack buff depending which one you scale from but this is kind of you know useful or which one you have higher stats but basically your nukers are gonna get attack buff and everybody else is gonna get defense buff so she kind of does multiple things and can be a little bit useful. And then she also does have a basically buff strip like Marius, that it reduces the duration of the buffs, so you can't get polymorph from this. And you can try to remove the stone skins and so on. Also a little bit heal. This is the reason that I really want to use her now. The gear is not the best, and I still have my anchor and dust is scared, and I plan to keep them in their own old sets and try to make a new one for her because she also does require some accuracy and I, I plan to run like 6 piece stone skin and 2 piece immortal in the future when when we get the set proper which is it isn't right now and you know we're we're losing like I don't know like a lot of HP let's say like 15-20k HP we're gonna have more than this when he's when she's ascended 
But we're going to run her today, not in every battle, but wherever she might be useful and we'll see. I did a couple battles yesterday and she was kind of useful, so we'll see how this goes. I've been trying to convince other people to get her and that's maybe a little bit premature when I didn't have her yet, but now we have her, we're gonna try her and we'll see if you guys or if I find it interesting, but I'm already convinced that I'm gonna use her, so it's more about convincing you guys. I, I said it multiple times, but people kind of overlooked her kit because she's so insanely hard to get and most people are not going for her. But if she was a fusion champion, I think she would be a very popular champion and there would be Lots of people using her and people doing guides for her in like, you know, Hydra and other stuff as well. Hmm. Like in this one, we could get rid of the burns with her passive, but I don't know if that's good enough reason to pick her in this one. Let me think about it. Yeah, I think this one we're <laughs> we're gonna go with all tried and true. Maybe I don't want to be Krodos this early on, since we're not gonna ban the. Actually, should we go with triple reviver? Let's go with triple reviver. Maybe we can counter the Gizmak this way. Also, since you do build some accuracy on her, you can run Polymorph without having six star blessing. Obviously, I don't have any blessing right now, but that's also kind of useful because it you don't really lose a lot of stats if you try to get like 400 accuracy on a support when you want to get it anyway for the boss trip. Okay, so we can just pick Rotos since he didn't, he didn't get Harima or UDK or anything like that. And he's running triple Nuker. But yeah, I, I feel like the people with super good accounts, they wouldn't even really con consider her at all. And then those people that might really want to use her, it's gonna be too hard to get this champion for them. So I feel like Parium kind of missed the mark on Maud. I thought Maud, Maud was gonna be like very easy champion to get that. Maybe, maybe you miss like one fragment champion or you get 100 fragments from like multiple multiple champions that you missed or gained a few extra and then you get, can get her but they for some reason made her like insanely hard to get that basically nobody is like getting her you, you have to skip multiple different fusion champions to get her and that's not really worth <laughs> Worth doing for most people. Okay, we're we're running the quadruple stone skin. I'm sure he's not super fond fond about that. This kind of reminds me of the... Wait, we could buff trip the block damage from Siegfried. I didn't think about that. We could totally do that one too. Should I... Should I use the A2 now or save it for later? No, let's, let's use it anyway, yeah. But we could just hit the Siegfried with Trodos and proc the passive and then... then do the buff trip. It is super useful to have a reviver with buff strip, but then again, you know, half of the people we meet have a Galatir, so there already exists one that is a lot better than mod. I, 
by the way, shout out to NBF clan. When I was homeless for a few days, NBF was offering me to join them. And I did think about it, but you know, they are like Chinese or Asian. I don't know how good, good fit I would have been in the clan and I would have just brought them down in high China CBC. So in the end, I still de decided to do my own clan. But you know, I'm not like super tight with the Chinese people, so I wasn't really, really expecting an invitation from them. I think they have like their own, own circles, and they are pretty. Um, they don't really mingle with the other arena players. There used to be that one guy, one guy from NBF that used to talk in Manibal Discord and Scratch Discord. I forgot his name, but he's the one. He's the one who, who got rank one with Valkyrie defense. I I can't recall what his name is, but I do remember that. He's the one NBF guy that used to be active in the chat channels. Anyway, this was super hectic and close one, but I think we we somehow barely edged it. <laughs> I don't know if that was like you know a more showcase, but. We basically went with Triple Reviver and I was trying to survive the Gizmark one-shot as, as well as I can and I, I guess it worked. I don't know if this would really work out every time, but then again, if we can get Polymorph and Polymorph and Mod, make her a little bit tankier and faster, I think she will be useful. The, the issue is that I don't really want to run my Duchess or um, Ankara sets on her because she needs accuracy and neither one of those uses it and I also don't want to build her in bolster since I plan to use her often against Narsus teams when they pick it like I want to have two revivers that I can pick against Narsus I obviously can't pick Duchess against them And I also want, wanted to get the two-piece Immortal, since then she could have some sustain and... Like my my Ankara, for instance, doesn't have any heals, and Maud has, does have a little bit on the A2. But if she would have a little bit more, then she would be more tangy like my Duchess, let's say. But having three Revivers is pretty good, though. I don't really like using my Arbiter. Uh, should we go with UDK and Narsus, I feel like? Yeah, let's pick it. I need to get, get the 6 star blessing on my Narsus and 1 star on Mord, which is not gonna be that hard and it's gonna be a very big deal. I actually got Narsus 6 star blessing in the split soul shop just a couple days ago but I still need like 40 tokens or something like that. Okay we meet the Galatir again and the Mikaki also does stuns so more this kind of like like the choice that we could go go in here. One issue I have which I need to fix and I just, like I said, my gear is not as candid, it's not glooped, and I need to get this better stone skin accessories. So she's kind of in the beta test and uh, not fully geared, but she's a little bit slower than my Rotos. My Rotos is very fast. She's faster than Narsus though, but since she does remove the passives, I think we're gonna go for our base ban, yeah. She removes the passives, removes the pa she removes the debuffs on her passive, and you definitely want her to be faster than your Nougars, ideally, at least. But Rotos, I think my Rotos is like 270 speed, so he's a little bit faster. If I could get like one more dupe on a Sacred Order, I could get the speed from Fraction Guardians, and that would be enough, but I can also 
get it done eventually by glyphs. It's kind of good here too that we have the UDK, so the George it can't one shot our team from the start. I guess he might open with A1 on Rotos actually, because he can't open with the single target nuke, and even the AoE is not a good idea, so if I was him, I would just A1 my Rotos. Like, oh, okay, he. <laughs> He buff stripped everything. Oh, okay. See, see, we're instantly getting super good territory here. He buff stripped my UD Gato, which is going to be Isu now. We don't have stone skin, so he could get one shot by the AoE. I think he has reaction still, though, but. Can we remove the attack buff? Oh, fuck. I was too slow and we did A1. Okay. <laughs> Talking too much again. It would have been 50 50 with the stone skin anyway, but. We could have potentially removed the attack buff from George. But we did remove the <laughs> block active skills. I think he's gonna like do A1 maybe on mode. No? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I think in that case we're good. I think he should should have done A1 on mod. If he had good gear, it definitely would have been enough to one-shot it if he broke the passive. If not, then maybe she could have survived. But I think now we're in pretty good position. Well, I, I guess the Wukong is gonna hit hard though if he yeah if, if he procs the um Helm Smasher with which he did. Oh okay. Our, we're good. No, I don't think we're good. I think if we don't uh, treat now, I think Mika Gay is gonna maybe solo us in one versus one. She's just gonna spam asleep. Okay, that was super close one. I feel like <laughs> I I don't know if I should have won that battle or not, but we had like two super uh, super close ones in a row that we somehow it's But definitely mod was useful here. I mean, she removed the. Uh, Block Debas and other CC multiple times. That I couldn't have done anything about that. Like normally my only way to counter Galatir is to pick a lot of polymorph and prey. And obviously my Duchess would have polymorph, so I would have a chance to do it. But we will eventually get polymorph on more as well, and then we can get rid of the Debas. And don't get me wrong, like I'm promoting her that she's gonna be great against Galatir, but against any debuffs and just general good survivor. But one other thing, which I mentioned at the start, I think, is that um, Marius and his A1 in Feeble is also insanely popular and meta. And it's gonna be very good to have more passive against that. I really think people are, are sleeping on mods, so if you if you take um, my opinions seriously at all and you're into PvP, consider skipping a couple bad fusions and trying to go for mods. I really think that she's gonna be worth doing it. But like I said, I'm not gonna force her in every battle today. And she's not really fully geared yet, so don't, don't take this as the final form of the mod. Okay, we got pretty hard picks here. He got got my Rotos and UDK and Harima to boot, so I guess there's no shot of using it, and I guess we'll go with Staldos. And who else? Maybe Wukong on this one. We do have the Armands, he has to ban it. I might be able to ban the UDK if he doesn't have lockout. Let's see. I, I'm sure he has lockout. If he has. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Then we're gonna ban UDK and we can still uh, 
polymorph things on Wukong, so maybe we can still deal with this. Protoss could weak hit on Staltus, and maybe if we polymorph Harima, we could still nuke. I am running the support Wukong in supersonic set still. Damn that. <laughs> See if he protected like every single buff in the team. <laughs> Isu here is that if I do the A3, we're gonna proc uh, extra turn on Rotos. I'm not sure if my Narses would cut in before that. I think we should open with the A2. I think. Oh, Harima survived. But. Oh, no, no, this is perfect. This is perfect. So A2 did low enough damage that we <laughs> we didn't proc the Rotos passive. And I think we can now actually block revive it. I mean, we could just AoE no 2, but uh, now, we, well, now we don't have to worry about it. So I don't think there's any comeback for him at this point. Yeah, we're... <laughs> We're off to good start today. I guess my big brain scuffed strategies are paying off. It feels so nice to not take any damage from the counter attacks on Narsus. You you often forget about that part of his passive. I think we're still good, surely. I can pull off a revive and I think the Narcissus is gonna cut in. <laughs> My voice is a little bit rough as you can maybe hear. Okay, <laughs> another block revive. He's not gonna be happy about this. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird... I don't think I've ever had a battle like that where I block revive both of his snookers on Narses. Pro probably I have, but I I can't recall it. I don't think that happens very often. Damn, I just <laughs> I just saw that uh, Rednas sent me a DM. <laughs> he, he was basically saying that he had bad luck. I, I guess I can show this picture. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Yeah, so th this is what Red... Oh, fuck, I didn't click it. This is what Rednas got during, during the... 2x primals. Ugir, Alskor, Aphidus, and Galleus. So basically the same stuff that I got, I guess. <laughs> yeah, th that's that's not fun. I I wouldn't want to be him except the exact same thing happened to me, so I'm gonna see I'm gonna be salty about it for the rest of the year unless I pull something good. Okay, what do we want? I guess we'll go with Rodos and UDK, yeah. It's the same old stuff that UDK is good against the Wukong, and Rodos has low cooldowns and can get extra turns, so he can kind of do okay against Lockout sometimes, not like always, but if you get like extra turn on your first turn, then you can already like maybe use the A2 and so on. Oh, Marius. I, I guess we'll go with the... <laughs> I think we'll go with the mod again. Let's see if we can 
pull it off against uh, Marius. I don't think this is really gonna be good enough because his team is insanely scary and we can ban the Crixia. But at least since Ankara is oh, Ankara got banned, since Ankara was gonna get locked out, she wouldn't have been able to cleanse our team from the Enfeeble. But Maud can do it even when she's locked out. I don't know if we're gonna win this battle though, it seems pretty impossible. I think I fought this guy like many times before. Wait, I don't think Rodas got a weak hit from the lockout. That's also a good thing about Ankara and Rotos against Mord, that uh, against um, Grixia, that both of them can get weak hit and then you don't get the lockout. But it kind of looks very bleak already, you know. We are still locked out and our team is pretty much dead, so... I think Wukong is just gonna one-shot us with the first day too. We lost the stone skin and everything. Oh yeah, putting putting attack buff on Rotos with the A1 is pretty pretty nice as well. Maybe Narsus can cut in. Oh, he... He slept it, fuck. Okay, it's, it's done. See if A1 is too good. In, in these kind of situations, if... Oh, okay. He kind of made a mistake there. Way hit. Can we still win it? But like, w when you have less champions than the enemy team does, and they have Sifi, it's generally game over, because Sifi is not letting you have any turns. Okay, can we get some weak hits? This almost seems like winnable now, and Wukong can potentially weak hit against the Rotos. Okay, we, we got the weak hit. Uh, okay, we, we, we need another one though. That's not quite quite enough after getting locked out. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I don't think we really deserve to win this battle, but we almost got there. Obviously that was, you know, insanely meta team, so it was hard battle. Let's see if we got anything interesting on reddit today so, something got into my eye a little bit if you're i don't think you can even tell it on the video but my eye was twitching a little, little bit Okay, uh, do I even want to pick Ankara? We could pick it later too. Maybe I... Let's go with Datsus. Probably I'll end up going with either Mord or Ankara, but let's get the Datsus for the Polymorph. Oh, he took the Ankara. Interesting. I guess we're <laughs> I guess we're gonna take the mod then or do I want to go with Rotos and No, okay, we're yeah, I think we're gonna go with Rotos and Mod. I could almost pull out the Helicat here though. I'm kind of kind of tempted to do it. It all, always comes down to the same thing that it depends if he has Lazarus as the nuker, because he has to pick a nuker. If he doesn't, this Helicat might be very bad pick for him though. I mean, there's some, some other ones, you know, the Gomidius could be good. 
Um, Marius could still perform against the block damage, so we're, we're still gonna get the defense buff, so it's not gonna be a waste, but Lazarus is the worst one. If he doesn't have that one, then oh, okay, Wukong. That, I guess that's bad too. <laughs> Always for, forget about the Wukong. We're, we're gonna have interesting interaction though. You might not be very familiar with this one, but if I get the block damage up first before Wukong does the A3, it's gonna place the block debuffs buff on us and steal the, <laughs> steal the block damage, but we're still gonna get the defense buff up regardless. Okay, we, <laughs> we resisted it. I guess that's not... That's a full new Wukong with very low accuracy. Which is what I run when I run a Nook Wukong. But usually people go for a surprisingly big amount of um, I think I should just open with the A2 on the Wukong. Yeah, usually people have surprisingly big amount of accuracy on new Wukongs, like 400 or something like that. I guess if you have a Savage or Lethal set, and you proc Helm Smasher and you obviously use the A2, then you're already gonna fully ignore the enemy defense, and you could just go with Perception. Not like Rule is gonna be that much better, but me personally, I would just go with Stone Skin accessories in, in that situation. Well, but if you don't have it, then you definitely should go maybe with Perception. Like, we can't kill the Sifi with the A3 because of the Harma passive. But what we can do is kill the Wukong and <laughs> use the A2 and kind of, you know, buy us time and try to get to the end game. Dirtling a little bit. I don't know if that's even. <laughs> Lingo does it, that is very familiar with the raid player base. I think. What, in what game do you use Turtling? I think in RuneScape. I think in RuneScape you call Starling Turtling. No, no, that's World of Warcraft. <laughs> it's so long time ago that I played played World of Warcraft that I forgot about that. Yeah, it, it, it's a World of Warcraft term. Uh, I, I used to play Hunter, and Hunter is like a hyper-offensive op class cannon class in World of Warcraft, so I was never running any kind of turtling teams, but those kind of teams are good against Hunter, so I often faced stuff like that. It's, you know, the modern, I don't know, again, it's like, it's a million years since I played World of Warcraft the last time. It was in Mists of Pandaria, but I assume the thing still exists that if you're very high rating in like if you compare it to let's say Plarium library, you know, um obviously you know most of the top accounts are gonna have have most of the top champions. But imagine that you're locked into the one champion that you play, and then there is this website. I don't recall what's it called because this is like 10 years ago. But there is this website that drags all of the players at high ranking. So let, let's say that, um, I don't know, let's say that Husky queues live arena. I think, how much points is Husky? Husky is like 19,000 points. And obviously, like in, in this game, we don't have like um, matchmaking, 
like rating so you can be like you can be at the bottom of gold 4 and meet husky or you could even you could even be in gold 3 and meet husky sometimes but in most competitive games you're going to meet people around your points or around your matchmaking rating and there is this website or at least used to be where you can always see if a like team at high rank queues and like what minute they played arena and what was their team comp and since that game is like a big rock paper scissors and you can't really if you're getting hard countered you basically can't win unless you're like 50 times better than the enemy P people would uh, people would just try hard and get to like semi high rating and after that they only snipe other people they only play when there's like one other team queuing at high rating and it's a team that they counter and since I was running always you know very offensive teams with hunter we would often get like sniped by some like annoying like turtle teams anyway I don't think many people are gonna get that reference but <laughs> shout out to anyone that is familiar with those terms or situations Anyway, what do we want to do here? Yeah, let's go with this. Maybe we'll pick Maud, maybe we'll pick one of the other revivers. We still have to pick one Nougar, so I'm not sure if we're gonna pick Maud. And uh, I think I talked about this on live stream, maybe, but or maybe with somebody in DMs or voice or something like that. But the worst thing was sometimes I was playing two versus two, which is not very competitive game mode in World of Warcraft, and is kind of looked down upon. Sometimes we would meet teams that are like two tanks, not even like a healer and nuker, but just two tanks, two blood UDKs, and. They are like unkillable. They might not be able to kill you either, but you're never gonna kill them, so that's fun. Uh, I think we're gonna go with Angkor on, on this battle. He, he could still pick like a, another lockout. And uh, Angkor does have claims too. So maybe we can use it. Oh, what? <laughs> He's going with Unkensa? This is the first battle that I ever see anybody using Unkensa in raid ever. Apart from, <laughs> apart from myself using it when I got her. I think she's kind of good for maybe Hydra or PvE content. She does do like attack buff and decrease defense and weaken and ally attack on your main nuker on the A1 so it's not terrible but little bit weird to use it in PvP. Granted that he can boot the poison cloud and I don't have bash trip or steel so I'm not able to do anything about it. But you can literally just buff strip the poison cloud that she does. That that one is not protected. I don't think we want to do the revive. We'll save it for Narsus. <laughs> he did that, but we still got in. We could maybe block revive the so but let's just do the A2. Oh, okay. Everybody died. I was expecting maybe Arbiter would survive it because they had a defense buff, but I guess it was hyper offensive speed team and my narcissist is hard hitting enough to do it. Wait, what's their battle record? 
four wins and two losses, not bad. Maybe we can break 5.8k today. <laughs> Mad golf. Okay, buddy. You know, many people say it jokingly, and many people actually do it, but I don't know if this guy is just memeing around or if he's actually using the mad deck for classic arena reset. I don't really think it helps you because they are not they are not dumb and most of the time they're they're gonna know who's in the clan and if they don't they're gonna check it. I don't think it really helps you but I'm not gonna blame anybody for trying. I don't know if I should go with the UDK or not. But yeah, I've told this story like before, but back in the days, the Ancient Order used to be the best PvP clan. I know it might come as a shock, but this is years and years ago. Uh, I used to go with the Ancient Order attack on on Classic Arena Reset, and I felt no shame about it, so... N neither should you guys. I'm, I'm waiting to see when can we, when can I spot the first time that somebody's... Well, I guess we don't have our own clan deck, but yeah, we, we have the OC deck. It would be funny if somebody used our clan deck just to like, you know... Not get attacked by us, but I don't think my clan is quite there yet. I think we, yeah, I think we're gonna go with the Dodgers for the Polymorph. No, no, let's let's go with the. Yeah, let's go with her. Mod and Rodos. Yeah, let's go with this. My mod is not super tanky. I don't like. That, like, even if she was 20k higher HP, that wouldn't really be tanky. But she is in stone skin, so she is guaranteed to get a couple turns in. Interesting team. I guess that's a support Wukong, but he has to ban the Armands, so I think we're okay. He's not gonna be able to polymorph mode or the Nukers at the start. Okay, Mad Golf, do, do your worst. Let's see what you can do. Okay, we got Enfeebled, and Mord is gonna go first and remove it, so it kind of feels good. Okay, le let's see about that first. Oh, it was a Nuke Wukong, or some kind of hybrid at least, but we can, uh, we can block revive it off the bat, but do I even want to do it? Because, um, we're not gonna get the extra turn. I think we do want to do it though. Wait. Oh fuck. What? Why didn't I go before? Oh. I think I broke the passive on Narcissus and he got turn meter from. I. Okay, that's my bad. I didn't realize it. I think we broke the passive on Narcissus and he got extra turn meter. And more didn't proc it because more definitely is still faster than Narcissus. Okay. I, I totally thought in my head that we already got rid of the ah uh, rid of the the enfeeble. That's kind of unlucky there. If um if we didn't get the counter attack, we would have won there. If we, or if we didn't weak it on the next turn, and if we didn't um If we didn't get unlucky with the turn meter boost, which you know is kind of a positive thing, I think we also would have been fine, but 
that didn't. Um, I guess more should be should be faster than just one speed. More than my narcissus. I need to work on that, but I don't ha happen to have the perfect gear for it at this point. Maybe I should gear her in something else than two piece immortal. I want to have the immortal, but maybe I need to do some other two piece set for now just to get her faster. But you live and learn, and we do some battles, and we improve the builds after this. Yeah, I'll, I'll make her like fast enough that I think that passive gives you 15% turn meter. I need to make her like more than 15% faster than my Narsus. I'm sure I can do it if I don't use two piece immortal. Kind of odd choice that he got the first pick and he went with Sifi. But I have seen other people doing the same thing. Actually, one of my clan mates does this too, and he says he kind of likes to bait the Arman's pick because he's faster than the enemy, like 90% of time, and he does have a lockout or lockouts, so he can just go first and lock them out, usually. Koran Marius. We're definitely seeing a pattern today where it's mostly the same champions every battle. And we're not even meeting the best of the best accounts because we're seeing relatively few mythic champions. I wish the mod had the polymorph. I, I kind of want to pick her in this battle, though. Maybe I'll save the Nougar as the last one. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with Mord and Darces. And let's say that he picks Rodos. That's fine. We'll go with Stalus then. And we will have the buff strip. So maybe that's enough for Stalus Nook them. Since they're not gonna have full uptime of the defense buff. That that's you know a big part of more too. Even though the main thing is that she's a reviver and has a cleanse and passive. That but being able to buff strip on the same kit is very useful too. I wouldn't underestimate the utility of it. We can get rid of their immunity or attack buffs and so on. It does make a big deal. And we can't get polymorph with that buff strip because it's not technically buff strip but reducing the duration of their buffs. But since it's two turns, it basically is a buff strip in practice. Shu Chen. Interesting. Well, I do have my Rotos in stone skin, so he wouldn't have an issue with this. <laughs> but but who do we want to ban? I am, I'm almost feeling like banning the Sifi, actually. Then he's only gonna have one reviver. One A3 from Rotos, and then we can permanently Kill one of the Nougars on the next turn. Oh fuck. I thought I... No, no, it's him. Why is the raid is passing out? I thought that I didn't pick the aura, but I certainly did. But it was showing that it's my turn. I 
I think I'll probably make another video about more than Monday, even though I think I've done two videos about her before, but I think Monday we're gonna get another mod video. I'm almost tempted to run her in classic arena defense too, but maybe not. Okay, Rotos didn't get buff stripped, we kind of got lucky there, even though it's a 50-50, but he does it three times. Oh, he almost killed us through the stone skin. Do I want to kill Marius here, because... <laughs> He's gonna get revived with cooldowns intact. I think it's over. Yeah, it is over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Chu Chen survived. I stand corrected. Anyway, we did good. Another win. We're, we're doing super well today with mods, so you certainly don't want to underestimate her. I know, I know. I'm shilling. Well, okay. Never mind. <laughs> we had three battles there right in chart, short time span, but I know I'm chilling for a mod, but I think she's actually actually good and underrated, so I'm gonna keep doing exactly that in future as well. Okay, we we'll carry on. Let's see if we can get a couple more wins with the mod or not. Oh, what? We're against Boozor. Uh I think I fought against him before, but he, not any time recently. I think it's like eons ago, but this is not the first time that I have fought against him. Interesting. I know <laughs> I know he has pretty good champions though, so I don't know if we can get this. Like he got the first pick too, so. Would be kind of kind of funny. I think he probably is gonna pick Marius. I assume. Maybe we can maybe we can pull off some some more shilling. Okay. Do I want to pick the? UDK or not? We're definitely gonna go with Trotos, but... Uh, you can pick one Nuker and one Reviver. Uh, this is a tough choice. I think we're gonna go with... No, let's, let's say the... Um, no, okay, well, yeah, we're not gonna go with mod here. Let's go with Dots. If he picks Marius, then fine, then we'll go with Triple Reviver. If not, then we can still uh, pick other options. Let's see. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess, uh, give me a sec. I guess I should show his channel, but I'm sure everybody everybody else already knows that he he does content as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with the Wukong. I'm almost tempted to go with Necrot here, honestly. 
Maybe I should have gone with Necrot, but okay. We, we still have to ban the Armands. But yeah, we're we're battling this guy. In case somebody doesn't know, he also makes content or not really arena focused content. Okay, nice. We we did cut in with the supersonic Wukong after the city, which I guess he he didn't know that I'm running the supersonic strategy. Some people know about it already. Like when when I meet people that you know are familiar with my builds. They open with A1 or C because they know I have a supersonic Wukong, but the supersonic kind of caught him off guard and we bust it before the Taras could do anything. Pretty sure he's surely running a resistance UDK, but let's see if we have enough accuracy to do it or not. Okay, yeah, we didn't. I kind of expected that because we're not full on uh, accuracy. So, but it's still it's worth it to cut in and Taras. Oh, Taras couldn't uh, new card with the AOE though. The A2 did insane damage though. Maybe we get lucky and steal it now. No, okay. Ah, uh, it's kind of looking bad though. We still have to wait for for a bit before it ends and I don't know if Justice is even gonna get a turn here, but we already used the Uncle Revive and it's the thing that I often talk about it. You can you can tell from the um, from if they have life harvest or not that usually the top accounts are never gonna have it. Okay, yeah, anybody in life harvest because um, they're just gonna have everybody in polymorph. But if you don't have everybody in six star polymorph, then you're probably gonna have somebody in life harvest and, and he does have it. So, damn it. <laughs> if we just had another nuker. And not Rotos, like we survived the start and we survived for a little bit, but it took forever before before we could do any damage on, on the Rotos. But okay, we, we lost this one. Happens. <laughs> no, no, not the first and last time that I'm gonna lose to other people or other content creators. He, he hit surprisingly hard with the Tarase too. I was expecting that my Duchess could uh, tank one, but but she didn't. Okay, nice. We got the rematch. I have fought against him before. I should have remembered that he, he always uses the Taras, so... I, I think it's always Taras and Harima as his new girls, and... We, we, we can count on meeting those. Maybe we can pull out Helicat in this battle. I need to save the big until end though, that he doesn't like, you know, get to counter it, but I think we might be able to pull off a Helicat against him. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty much expecting him to pick the same team, though. I I assume that he has Mario, so Mario's could be good as well, but um Do I even want to pick Jatsus here? Mm, 
yeah, okay, let's go with Anchor, yeah. We could totally go with... I hope he... I hope he picks like one nuker and then one non lockout champion and not like Marius and then we could go with UDK and Helicat. That way we could maybe pull off this battle. I mean, he's gonna go first, he's gonna one shot us with Taras and we're not gonna do damage with Rotos because of the Harima. So we don't really have too many ways that we can beat him, but if we can pull out the helic at uncounter then then that will do it and i i don't think he's normal in his normal strategy he's not like running any um any bus troopers okay we got the warlord and a new girl but if i pick helic at now he can still he can go with another bus trooper but i'm still kind of tempted to almost go with helic at anywhere Should we go with Helicat and Rodos? Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Obviously we're gonna ban the Warlord. He could pick something like Mikage, maybe. But I don't think he has double lockout, so... Okay, UDK. Yeah, that's to be expected, but um, this time we're gonna do some damage. We're, we're gonna have the Heligat. Yeah, maybe, maybe this one will go better. Let's see. Maybe we can get get a win in this battle, we can get one more battle and do best out of three. Pretty often when I get somebody, I get him three times in a row. This wouldn't be the first one and not even close, if it happens. But yeah, I think this matchup is looks more winnable because we can deal some damage unlike last time. So he's still very tanky, so maybe we're still gonna lose. I mean, not like I can one-shot him with Narses through Harima passive and defense buff. And I can't even um, really target the Harima hard with the A3 through the um, UDK passive, but we do have the Heligat too. Maybe it's enough. We're kind of, you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel and really, really far-fetching here, but I do love me some Helicat. Some people hate Helicat, some people like him, but he is the champion of the people. Maybe it depends what you have. You, you, you might hate Helicat and I'm gonna hate, like, you know, Harima, uh, UDK and Lockout, so... Do I even want to revive the Rodos here? I think we want to do, use the A1 and... Yeah, I try, tried to hope for the A1 proc, but we didn't get it. We, we we would have killed his team if we got the proc. He does have the shield up now, so we would have killed... Wait, did we proc it now? I didn't see it. We got the counter. Like, did I proc the... Oh, we did proc it. I think we can... Well, um, maybe see if he survives. If we can kill Harima on the first hit, and I'm not sure if we can. If we can, I think Sifi is going to die too. 
Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Harimo barely survived the first hit, but we still killed the city. Okay. That didn't go as I was expecting, but we got... Okay. Let's queue fast. Can we can we get best out of three? <laughs> Let's get it one more time. We got one one, so we, we need to get the last one. Come on. Ah, okay, okay. I, I've spoken about this before. Some people hate getting the same person multiple times in a row. I think it's super fun. I think it should be its own game mode that you can you will get the same person three times. That way you can adapt to their picks maybe a little bit and there will be a little bit more strategy. Maybe some kind of, you know, tour tournament format that I have cried about for like a year. Maybe if you had something like that, you could also do best out of three on it. Anyway, we we got we got our revenge win, so I I guess that's the best we can ask for now. I don't know if he has the Marius because he didn't pick it at all. Maybe he doesn't have it yet. I think if I had the Marius, it would also help me a lot in the battles against him. But I feel like if he had it, he probably might have used it too. So I mean, he does have Harima and Taras to be fair. I mean, those are pretty much as good as Nougars get. I mean, they are the best uh, live arena Nougars outside of Mythicals, for sure. Uh, he already picked three supports, so he can only pick, like, Georgie and Lazarus or something along those lines. Fuck, I don't know who to pick. Let's go with Necrot, but I feel like he... Surely he has like a... A charge that he's gonna pick. Usually always if... Somebody goes with Arbiter or Shu Chen... It's like 99% chance that they... Have a charge it. What? Alas and Nu Kukong. Didn't expect that. In this case, my Necrot is actually insanely good. I'm kind of surprised what he's picking here. And what else do we want to pick? Just the double reviver, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll go with Mord instead of. Uh, I mean, Datsus instead of Mord here. We'll maybe get some damage mitigation from the Datsus passive and, and the A1. Doesn't really do that much debuffs. I guess he does do the Wukong block debuffs, but it's a nuker. Might even not pull it on us. But yeah, we're doing pretty good today, you know, maybe a little bit unexpectedly good. I mean, I think we have like five losses or something like that, so let's not get too far, but we definitely had multiple more wins, so... And we got we got many, many wins on the unfinished mod build. I was actually expecting to do burst, to be honest. I think it will be... Way better with Ascension and Polymorph. Poly Polymorph, you know, people still complain about it and some people hate it, some people love it or think it's, you know, somewhere in between. But one thing that you can't deny is that literally one Polymorph proc can often change the tide of the battle. That's how impactful it is, so... You don't, you don't want to underestimate Polymorph. Okay, lo looks like he did weak hit on our Rotos with um, 
Krixia. I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna kill the Krixia instead of Shouchen. That's that's a really good part about both Ankara and Rotos that Krixia can weak it on both of them, and that's gonna give me a lot of options. And also, you know, Ankara A1 gives us potentially our cooldowns back, so it kind of doubles down as a Krixia check. Maybe counter is not the right right word in this matchup, but let's say Krixia checks at least. You're not guaranteed to win against Krixia if you pick Ankara, but it's gonna be a smart pick often. Nice, we, we got the uh, Frostbite proc for good measure. Oh, he <laughs> he surrendered. He didn't want to see it until the end. I, he, <laughs> that's a little bit surprising. Okay, so we have like three wins. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, we can't see all of the bubbles. Okay. I think we started out with like maybe 25 points or something like that. So I think we got maybe like 40 points today or something, something along those lines. Tara's wife. By the way, I haven't checked Reddit at all today or in a while. I'm assuming Reddit is gonna be talking about uh, new champions and new dungeons, but let's see. Mm, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with UD again. Staldos on this one. Oh, why is the... Why is the screen not fully... Like, I don't know what's the windows bugging out right now. It, you can see a little bit empty space at the bottom suddenly, but... Okay. Oh, Fatalis. Nice, nice. I, I have lost to Fatalis many, many times. Uh, we could go with Helegat here, even though he has the Rodos. We have the UDK, though he is probably gonna ban it, but we could still go with the Helegat. Okay. He's not gonna get this from me, but let's first see what he's saying. I don't have... Positive wipes to give out right now because of the shard pulling depression. Need some positive wipes and prayers from raid community. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. That's too depressing. I, I, okay, Carl. I thought he was gonna talk about some, some depressing shard pulls, but he took in, it in the way, <laughs> way more serious direction than I was expecting. Let's not. Let's not depress ourselves any more than we already are. Uh, I don't think I want to use the revive. I think we're gonna go with the A2. Saldos will just instantly die if I use the revive anyway, so... Also, can, can we one-shot the Rodos with the defense buff? I feel like we probably can't. Yeah, okay, not even close. He had both defense buff and the uh, Ward of the Fallen, so he, that's a lot of damage mitigation. I 
I feel like <laughs> again if I revive it it's gonna die but I think we're gonna take our shot this time maybe if we reduce it no okay not the enough accuracy maybe if we reduce the turn meter of Harima maybe my Narasus would cut in but I don't know if he's gonna oh, okay fuck Harima went before us so we wasted the revive for nothing I don't think, can we even kill it now? <laughs> even now we couldn't kill it, fuck. Okay, that's not good. I guess I should have just done A1 and saved the Rodos A3 for later. I didn't want to use it on CT because he was gonna revive it anyway with turn meter, but okay, we, we lost this one. I should have just hold on to the Angora revive for a while and not revived Stylus at all. I think we could have maybe won in, in that situation. Rotos is obviously not really not doing much here, but he still has the Harima just totally demolishing my team. And Fatalis is also adding up some damage and utility. This guy has life harvester. No, no, Fatalis has it, fuck. So Narcissus is not going to do any damage when he gets revived now and it's basically game over. I don't think I don't think we even have enough damage to... Okay, he's not going to lose the boss. I was going to say that we wouldn't even have enough damage to block revive Rotos, but he lost the boss so we can't do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, that damage is not very impressive. Okay, we we'll, we lost that one. We we had to hold on to the revive at the start. That that was the one shot that winning it. Anyway, last battle. That then we run out of time. No 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 disrespect to that guy, but he's talking about some <laughs> some way too serious stuff. So we're not gonna even get into it. I thought he was gonna complain about chart boss. Oh, here's an interesting topic. You could almost make a video about that. Best champion for a Slayer gear set. Great trade, great damage, speed, and ignores 30% of defense with AoE skills and has chance to repeat the AoE skill. Obviously, I mean, there's one champion that instantly comes into mind since he scales with AoE. It's gonna be Marius. But, you know, 4B stone is, in, is insanely powerful too, so even if you could do this set, you probably still would go with stone skin anyway. I mean, you could do either one, or maybe you... <sighs> Fucking Harima again. Maybe you're already using your defense stone skin on somebody else, and you can use that on Marius, and then have that on somebody, but being guaranteed basically to get first turn on your Nuka is pretty big deal. Do we have to go with Rotos and UDK? I guess we do. And we're gonna... Brute Force against Harima passive again, which I I hate. Mario soon. Copium. It's gonna be pretty soon though. I, I have one like uh, hard mission left, but maybe like one or two weeks and, and then I got it. I, I hate the time gated missions, but Honestly, I'm surprised that Mario's missions didn't end up being a lot harder than they made them. There's nothing good here. Ronda is gonna nuke us through the Necret, but I don't think... Maybe, yeah, maybe I should have just gone with Helicat, to be honest. 
I was able to ban the Armands anyway. No, actually, no, maybe this is good enough. Uh, even though he does ignore the shield, but I think with UDK taking one hit and us still getting the ally protection and strengthen, I don't think the Ronda can one shot my Rothos. I think we might be able to win this. Anyway, as, as you might be able to tell, I've had had a little bit too much fun on the weekend again, and I'm, I'm super tired, so... I don't know if you can tell it on the video or not, but I'm, I'm definitely a little bit tired today. Monday? Tune on Monday for the Bloodpool stream, though. I'm gonna have a, have a good night's sleep and be very... Uh, very focused when we get that. We did pretty well last week, you know, we got top 102, I wanna say, something like that. We did a super short push and we did better than we have for a while. And I think we're gonna try to keep the momentum going and do the same thing again. Gonna do like 10 minute push and squeeze in and barely get adduct. That's the only way for me because my you know, if I push for 15 minutes, I can win battles in offense, and I get hit like 30 times. But if I push like 10 minutes, I only get couple couple attacks in my defense. That's how big difference it is. As long as I don't get too high too fast, we can still is fairly high, but obviously we're not gonna compete for rank 1 if we're not doing a longer push. But not today. <laughs> no, no, not with the Aphidius pulse. We need to we, knew, we need to do a little bit better than that if we want to make a serious comeback on the top 20 classic arena scene. Aphidius is not gonna cut it sadly. I hope we have enough. Okay, we have, yeah. I think that was kind of close. We might not have been able to one-shot the Arbiter. Does he have Polymorph on Harim? No, okay, good. We ended up using Marius, uh, not Marius, mode a lot more at the start than at the end, but I was already, you know, I wasn't gonna force the mode pick in every battle, and we were only trying to pick her when it made sense, so it, it, you know, it turned out this way. When I get her in the full gear and at least one star polymorph, I will pick her more, but I think. Unlike Hunken, so for instance, I think mode is gonna be something that we're gonna be picking consistently for a long time. And I would definitely, I would recommend you guys to go for her if it's an option, but I think I'll probably make another video about it <laughs> soon and try to convince people. Maybe, maybe get some compilations of battles where, um, where mod was useful. Again, it, it's all about, you know, like how the champion fits in the meta. Rotos is a 
perfectly good example about it. In vacuum, Rodos is still, still one of the top arena champions, but he just doesn't fit the meta, and some champions completely counter him. And Mart does counter multiple stuff that are very popular, notably Marios and uh, Galatir, like I mentioned. And that alone actually does make him very worthy of getting. Even though you don't see anybody using using Marius, but um, using Mort, I keep conflating the two. But even though you don't see anybody using Mort, then I, I would still consider it. Anyway, as always, often people ask about it, but you can find link in my description to the optimizer. You can see all of my um, builds there. Pretty sure my mother mod build might change maybe later today or in few days, so you can go check out there what I'm running. I would quickly say that from the masteries, you could go with equal eye, or you could go with fearsome presence if you have a polymorph. I will probably switch her to polymorph actually uh, to, to fearsome presence when I get polymorph, but you do want to have some accuracy on her. I think. I will try to keep her ar around 400 so that the buff strip works like more often than not but that's it we're gonna keep experimenting with mod in the next week maybe do even better than, than today and that's all i got for this video have a nice day and see ya